First and foremost, uh, I'm glad that we're called together uh, in this moment to remember that Jesus is our Lord and Savior and that we share him and that Jesus has uh, many children and a, and a, a ro robust and raucous family. And so we are family together, you and I. Uh, in that spirit, I've been asked to think with you a little bit about uh, the Gospel of Luke and that Jesus said that uh, he was very clear his purpose in partnership uh, with God and with the Holy Spirit was to bring good news to the poor. Uh, we may not always agree about the issues of the day and maybe even some doctrine. Uh, we may uh, continue, need to continue to learn together uh, about the, the deep truths of the scripture. But one thing that can bring us together is our service side by side to the poor. Uh, Jesus came as a child of the poor. Jesus came among uh, the poor in his community. Jesus came to bring good news to the poor. And we who follow Jesus, that is our purpose, to take up his work. Uh, I pay a lot of attention to politics like all of you. And uh, I realize that even in election time, uh, we don't spend a lot of time talking about the poor. In fact, those conversations go to the edges of our discussion as a nation, uh, and even sometimes as people of faith. But Jesus brings us right back to the to heart of the matter. Uh, Jesus leaves what I call the gated community called heaven and situates himself in a poor family, and therefore says to us uh, that there is nobody beyond the reach of the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And so. Uh, as we repurpose ourselves to be partners with each other and we repurpose ourselves to be partners with the gospel, a living Lord, uh, we've got to ask ourselves, how do I live out the good news of Jesus Christ among the poor? Certainly it's more than just writing a check and, and charity, even though that's a big deal and that's important. But Jesus shows us it's about our location. Uh, Brian Stevenson, author of Just Mercy, that wonderful New York Times bestselling book says, it's all about the proximity. It's all about where you and I take our bodies for the sake of the gospel. And so I invite you, uh, as we go forward from this wonderful week of celebration of unity, to put your body in close proximity to those that Jesus loved so very much and those that Jesus came uh, to this earth to serve. God bless you.